Hello friends, in my previous videos, I have discussed already in detail about the MOSFET behavior like a resistor in linear or deep triad region. Okay, so based on that concept, let us try to understand one very important circuit which is called voltage controlled amplifier or in short form VCA. Okay, this has its own importance and applications in communication system and uh, radio systems. Okay, so uh, let's try to understand how the circuit works. Obviously, from the name itself, it is clear that the amplification factor of the amplifier is controlled by voltage. Okay, that is the name suggest voltage controlled amplifier. Okay, so before that, just have a quick recap of non-inverting amplifier, whatever you have studied in your linear integrated circuit course. Okay, so that is, see, here we have taken one op-amp with gain A0 that is internal uh, or its op-amp's own gain A0 and in we are using in non-inverting mode that is see V in or input voltage is applied in the positive uh, terminal of the op-amp and in the negative uh, terminal we are what we are applying uh, or in the negative pin we are applying the feedback voltage okay so basically you see here we are using r1 and r2 series resistor and in the mid from the middle portion we are taking input 2 which is applying which we are applying in the negative pin okay so that is v into so obviously what is v into from the basic concept of fundamentals of electrical circuit whatever you studied about voltage divider principle we can say that this particular r1 r2 series combination will act like a voltage divider circuit and no doubt v into equal to v out into r2 by r1 plus r2 that is v into basically voltage produced across r2 that is in between this uh, this point and ground okay so that is v into we can easily get by applying voltage divider now as you know virtual sort or virtual ground concept that that if the op amp has very high gain then there is a very small difference in between v in 1 and v in 2 or we can think that they are virtually sorted so we can replace this v in 2 by v in 1 okay and we can get v in 1 equal to v out into r2 by r1 plus r2 and v in 1 is what v in 1 is nothing but v in right so that we can say v out by v in equal to uh, this v, v in 1 replace uh, just replace v in 1 by v in and you will get v out by v in equal to r1 plus r2 by r2 that is 1 plus r1 by r2 this is the overall gain uh, overall gain applied by this circuit okay now uh, see this is a positive quantity so that it is also called non-inverting amplifier okay you have already studied in linear integrated circuit that is one is inverting amplifier another one is non-inverting amplifier so this comes under non-inverting amplifier because we have observed that the overall gain for this particular circuit is positive okay that is one plus r1 by r2 r1 r2 are positive one is positive so addition result will also be positive now how we can make this circuit how we can modify that the gain that is this factor basically 1 plus r1 by r2 can be controlled by voltage okay so see as you know that mosfet behaves like a resistor in deep triad region and that resistance value is what 1 by mu n into cox into w by l into vgs minus vt right so obviously that resistor value is voltage dependent or applied vgs uh, dependent on that r will vary that uh, r on or the MOSFET on resistance so that if we make certain circuit in which in this particular open circuit whether R1 or R2 can be uh, used replaced by the MOSFET resistor then that resistance value will vary according to the applied gate voltage and due to that uh, we can vary the gain also okay so this is the basic uh, recap you can say that ID versus VDS curves. See in the deep triad region, ID varies linearly with VDS, so that we can say that in deep triad region, MOSFET behaves like what resistor. Then, due to velocity saturation and pinch of effects, the brain current saturates. Although we say saturates, but there is a small slope due to channel length modulation and at very high VDS due to breakdown due to avalanche breakdown, ID increases rapidly. This graph already I explained in detail. You can check uh, the 
playlist link i will provide in the description okay so our target is not the whole part our target is only for the small fds when the mosfet is in deep trad region that part because we want to operate mosfet as resistor so how we can modify this circuit very simple replace the r2 that that is in this circuit this r2 resistor replaced by one mosfet right and see you get this kind of figure okay so here you just observe same circuit just r2 is replaced by mosfet okay and you know that r1 that is mosfet on resistance value is 1 by mu n into cx into w by l into vgs minus vth obviously it is quite clear from this expression itself that r1 is dependent on applied gate potential here you can say gate to source because source is got around grounded so then vgs is nothing but vg right so basically if vgs increases r1 decreases r1 decreases means r2 decreases and you just uh, see this formula v output by v input equal to 1 plus r1 by r2 if r2 decreases what will happen to gain 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 of the system will increase okay so basically we are getting one chain that if we increase the gate potential or gate to source potential this r1 for the mosfet will decrease or we can say r2 will decrease as r2 decreases the overall gain of this system will increase so that what will be the graph see here i have written vgs increases then r1 decreases as r1 decreases gain increases because r1 is equal to r2 and we know that gain expression is 1 plus r1 by r2 so if r2 or r1 decreases gain will obviously increase right so basically the gain versus applied gate to source potential graph will look like this okay see what happens as you keep on increasing vgs gain will increase initially okay that is it is gain is voltage controlled if you change vgs gain will also change okay so we achieved our particular aim that is we are we are able to make such circuit whose gain is voltage dependent or we can say that this is voltage controlled amplifier or vca or also this circuit also termed as variable gain amplifier because the gain is varying with respect to applied voltage and as you know that op amp cannot uh, give you gain keep on increasing obviously it will saturate any amplifier will saturate after a certain gain value so here also it is saturating okay so this is the gain versus applied voltage graph for this particular voltage controlled amplifier okay but one thing we have to understand see mosfet behaves like a resistor or voltage controlled resistor only in deep trial region okay so we have to design this circuit such that this particular mosfet always be in deep trial or saturation uh, deep trial region and what is the condition for deep trial region see as you know that for trial region vds should be lesser than vgs minus vth for this particular mosfet so in deep trial region the vds should be very very small or applied drain to source potential here what what see here this is drain for this particular mosfet and here this is source so this this particular node potential should not be very high okay because this uh, node potential is nothing but vds okay so as we want to uh, use our mosfet as voltage control resistor uh, so what we have to do uh, we have to keep this thing in mind that vds should not exit very high value it is observed that if vds exits 0.7 volt itself then only means by experiment it is observed that if vds exits 0.7 volt then only r1 value is decreased very by a very high value so that what uh, that 0.7 volt value does not matter but what is our uh, use what you should understand that this vds value should be very small so that mosfet this particular mosfet acts in deep trial region so what can you do see very simple vds is nothing but voltage drop across this particular mosfet right and this is r2 so we can say vds is nothing but v output into r2 by r2 plus r1 that is vds is voltage drop across r2 which we can easily get by simply applying voltage divider rule in this particular resist two resistor combinations so vds equal to v output into r2 by r1 plus r2 so our intention is vds should not achieve very high value so that r2 by r2 plus r1 should not achieve very high value so that what we generally do we keep this r2 
very very smaller than R1. So in the reverse way, we can say this R1 we can easily control it. So R1 we while designing R1 we put as a very high value compared to R2 or R1. Generally, it is observed that in MOSFET the R1 value varies in between 500 ohm to 5 ohm. Okay. So initially it is 500 ohm, but if you keep on increasing VTS, the R1 will decrease and minimum you may get like 5 ohm. Okay. So 500 ohm to 5 ohm, if it if it is the range for R2, so we must keep minimum R1 as 1 kilo ohm so that R1 very very greater than R2 and VDS which is equal to V output into R2 by R1 plus R2 becomes very small due to very high value of R1. Okay, this concept also you should keep in your mind. So for design point of view as VDS should be lesser than 0 0.7 volt to behave MOSFET in deployed region. So what we do? R1, we have seen by experiment that R1 is typically in between 500 to 5 ohm. So we keep R1 very high nearly 1 kilo ohm or more than that. Okay, so this is very important concept. I hope you have understood this. This is very important design point of view you and how the circuit works that is also very important and if you have any doubt regarding the variable uh, that is voltage controlled resistor uh, MOSFET behaves like a voltage controlled resistor in deep tight region based on these concepts if you have any doubt please go through the link given in the description okay this is all for my this video thank you for watching